We probably should have had the jig in the air for the video, but yeah, so be it. We probably got to put one more together. Uh -oh. All right, man. What's going on, man? Let them know who you are, where you from, and how old you are. I'm already in the Trap and Keep project, man. Uh, I don't know. Do you do the creator? Do I do the John Dot Com? You do what you want. Multiple do, alias. Yeah. J Flips 87. <laughs> All, All right, man. So, Acker Keek. That's all it is, man. So, what you want to be called? You're supposed to be in the video with me. What you want to be called by? I mean, that's on you. Do you want to steal all my views? Uh, uh, then you go john.com <laughs> or you go crazy john, <laughs> which we only adopt because I got the whole scarecrow fucking hairpiece on right now. All right, man. So, I told you, you're supposed to be in the video with me, man. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm in the video. You man. act just, like you ain't pretty. I'm just making sure this joint recording. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure. You know, I'm the cameraman for now. Yeah, be, but when I we've been we've been in videos together. Come on, man. You know, but, you know how to do that. Yeah, you know, you know. how to be sitting in front of This is this how this is. We gonna wear the sunglasses at night this for the new homage age. and the song. This is new age interviews right here. Keep the ambiguity so when I cut my hair off, nobody will know who I am. <laughs> so let everybody know, man. Like so. How, how was it coming up, man? Like, far as to get on the series? Uh, we ain't gonna like, do that. Nah, well, man, we are established. You want baby mama drama or the mental work? Man, you, whatever route you want to go, man. Nah, it's up to you. You're yeah. the host, man. You're supposed you, to make I guess, I guess you go to mental, mental ward. Uh, right? There we go. Yeah. Man of taste. <laughs> go straight into the mental ward, uh, man. Yeah, so. yeah, I've been relating that lately. Let, what, do let, you, what do you want? Let, what do you, the, let the people know what. What, what do you want? Let, like, uh, I mean, locations, like, you nah, want like how you get there, you want, like, Daisy, <laughs> like, a yeah. wow, it broke down, what you want? Let the people know what do you, what, to, what do you suffer from, or what do you... Oh, uh, yeah, schizoaffective. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what I'm trying that's to say. Okay, yeah. But although, the men of word initially, they gotta kind of run you through the guns, so they'll give you this, that, You're speeding ahead a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Let them know, like, how long, like... Were you born with <coughs> being a schizo? No, or that's it? not a, um, well, actually, I guess kind of in a way you're born with it. It doesn't usually manifest in males until the early 20s, females and more. And also there's a big difference between schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. The, and it, the multiple psychotic disorders, the big ones you see, yeah. is from a, a timeline. You ain't gonna be in the video, you still gotta watch me use my hands to talk. No, nah, I ain't, nah, <laughs> I ain't trying to burn So that's like bipolar. Me. Now a lot of people self-diagnose, a lot of people self-diagnose everything, but bipolar is a big one. You know, I'm bipolar, but it's an excuse for them to be bitchy. And then there's actually bipolar, like you're sad as fuck, you're angry as fuck. Yeah. Then there's schizoaffective, which is in between that and like schizophrenia. Schizoaffective is more like your bipolar mixed with schizophrenia. So, what's it's the, like your bipolar and schizo at the same time. Okay. Schizophrenia is usually broken down uh, like things like delusions, hallucinations, the famous shit in all the movies that makes people want to fucking burn us a lot. <laughs> fucking is a uh, you hear voices. Uh, it's confused with split personality disorder. That shit don't, doesn't really exist. It's not a real thing. You don't just Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type shit. You know what I mean? So but that's what you have. I have schizoaffective, which is kind of the middle one. Oh, so it's okay. schizophrenia kind of mixed with bipolar is kind of where they put. Okay. Yeah. And you were born with it, you say? Or it's you? often considered hereditary. It's often yeah. considered, yeah, yeah hereditary. Yeah. Uh, one of the first things they'll ask you is if someone else, you know, that a lot of different symptoms of the family, like they'll ask you, was someone else in your family, did they have this, did they have that? Yeah. You know what I mean? All time or eight, you know, a lot of things they do that way. Right. Mine was uh, my grandfather's sister. Right. Oh, that's a fun. Well, so I shouldn't he, say it's a fun one, but I gotta make light of it. That my hereditary would have been my grandfather's sister. I never really knew her very much because she was dead. But they put her in the ward, and this is before modern times. Some people would say like, I'm in a good place because there are better medicines. But she actually died. She didn't. She wasn't murdered. But she died from like an assault. Two other, she was in the loony bin, is how I put it. And two other crazy bitches, they both, I should, I don't know if I should say bitches. Yeah, but, yeah. but they wrapped a towel around her neck, right? Right. And then there's one girl here and one girl here and they're both pulling. Oh, wow. 
So they like crushed her esophagus. She didn't die though. Well, she died like a few months later because of, like the damage it did. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But that was my hereditary. Okay. You don't have to have one. I was di- I was 15. I was diagnosed early. Right. But often another, how you get it is uh, they'll almost kind of judge you on like strikes. So a lot of people say there's so just like the lawyers all today. Yeah. That all these doctors have different terminology, but like psychotic break, which makes me you flip your shit. Uh, if you get a couple of them, the uh, I think it's I don't know if it's EEG or ECG. I forget. They do suction cups on your head. Mm-hmm. They do the MRI. Okay. Everybody knows yeah. that where they put you in a tube and scare the fuck out of you and all right, that right. sort of shit. They ask you questions like. Uh, They'll, they'll have you in a room, they'll ask you some shit, and they'll go, I want you to remember the three words. That's a pretty basic cognitive test. Yeah. So it'd be like red, bird, street, or something. Yeah. And then they'd come back 10 minutes and see if you remember it, and see if you remember it in order. Things like that. Okay. So, so like, coming up, was it, was it? Well, you talking about fifteen when I get diagnosed? Yeah, yeah, like I was, I was a little crazy all the time. Yeah. And I look back at that's kind of because it took me a while to actually be like, I accept this. Did, did you realize you was different? Like, cra- a little oh crazy. yeah. So you knew. I mean, like, that wasn't. A you new knew this thing. wasn't normal. Like some. No, you know, yeah. Some, some if I knew, if I knew what I knew now, I, I wouldn't have done any of it. Right. Because right. now I was like, you, you're a little kid. I mean, fifteen, but you're still a little kid. So you're like, a doctor can fix it. Yeah. So I'm telling all them stuff. If I could go hindsight, do not say anything. There's no cure. You're fucked. And they'll do things to you that you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But when you're a little kid, I, I didn't know what the fuck schizophrenia was. Right. Never heard of that. Right. Who the fuck ever heard of that? Everybody hears schizophrenia. They think, oh, that's like split disorder. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they think you're going Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Which is actually more in line with bipolar. But if you're schizoaffective, I mean, you see me. I get mad sometimes. Right. <laughs> and all that sort of shit. But then it's... So the, it's pretty the, much like a trigger. That's bipolar, you're not really going to have hallucinations. Nah, so, well, I mean, you can so, definitely trigger somebody's mood so, swing. Bipolar is very up and down. Right. You can get real fucking angry and you can get real fat, sad real quick, right? I got. That's why I had to have you come in the lawyer's office. Right. Because I might have got real fucking mad at that lawyer that I cussed out on Friday. Yeah. And that's when Uncle Phil hugged Will Smith when his daddy left him. Yeah. That teared up a little bit. You go like, hey, that's pretty shit. I nailed that in eight right. hours, didn't I? <laughs> so, you know. That's bipolar, which is, is kind of technically a psychotic disorder. Right. But unfortunately, a lot of people, it's been, a lot of people self-diagnose that. You shouldn't self-diagnose that. It makes it bad for everybody. The biggest way to tell that someone is self-diagnosed is that they don't have any medicine. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say next. Like the medication, do that play? Oh, the medication, like, yeah, nightmarish. I think I topped out at like three thousand fifteen milligrams. Like I was the legal limit for like Seroquel and stuff like that. They said it was a mood stabilizer, the Depakote, but uh, also because you know I worked in that field, they very often Depakote is very common for people that have seizures. Uh, they I think they said a mood stabilizer would not be scary back when I was fifteen. Yeah. But it was to keep me from having seizures from all the other pills. Because a real easy way to have a seizure if you don't have epilepsy is to overdose on, it, especially like opiates and shit like that. Right. Like I knew a girl who took a bunch, took a little too much morphine pills. Mm-hmm. And she had a seizure. Right. She was she's not epileptic. She probably never had a seizure after that. Mm. Which kind of also shows you what a seizure is, right? right? Like I say, everybody's a little bit crazy every once in a while. I I know for a fact everybody got the same brain chemicals and stuff. It, it just because it doesn't happen to you all the time. Everybody's seen something out of the corner eye that wasn't there. Yeah. Everybody done heard a whisper that wasn't there. Right. You know what I mean? And the, but that's the problem. That's the uh, the big media is the pills, fucking electroshock. That you don't use electroshock therapy on on psychotics. Really, right. it's sometimes people with depression and otherwise, yeah, just really obscure. But it's weird. We still do that. It's a legal practice. You can electroshock people, but it's not like a torture. You know what I mean? Right. Like in the movies. Right. And that's it. Schizos do get bad for the movies. The amount of times, uh, especially like family, like you got a girlfriend 
and you meet their family and it's already going to be kind of fucking weird. Mm -hmm. But then they hear you're a schizo and they don't know what that is, but they have that, you know, and yeah. I've had people in, in a flash that they find that out and they immediately, they turn their whole, right. like, they loved me yesterday. Right. right <laughs> when right. I was helping them, like, now it's like, yeah, right. he'll kill us at any moment. Right. <laughs> Some shit like that. Yeah, media is really bad about it. Right. And the, and some of the pills. So, that's not true, though, at the end of the day. Cause like, you, you know what I'm saying? You, I mean, you will, but, like... Oh, you, I, you I still... Like, you still... There, there's absolutely... Is, is, is it moments you feel like that? There, there's a reason you put them in straight jackets and put them in a room. There's definitely yeah. times where people can get psychotic. Yeah. Especially a delusion. But a you ain't... Delusion, you ain't, a delusion you ain't is like a false... You ain't on that level of it. Uh... Well, hey, yeah, I'm 36 now. I'm we talking about was in my teens, man, in 20s, right, man. Right, right. That was different. Yeah. You wasn't to that level of it, was you? So you need your oh, yeah. Jacket. Covered in blood, fighting cops, strapped into a stretcher. Yeah. Okay. That was my first trip into the loony bin. Oh, wow. Yeah, full psych guy. Right. So I was going at it for an hour. How many times you been in it? You know. That I've been discussing with, I mean, you know, like I said to you all day, man, I don't lie about nothing anymore. I got a fucking 45 year vet uh, psychologist I talked to since yeah. all the stuff we've been dealing with like today. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've seen doctors forever, man. Yeah. So, what is it like being in it in that, in that day? Well, the ward is different yeah. than seeing a psychologist is weird. Yeah. A lot of people nowadays therapy is much better. Hey, better help. Give us the plug. <laughs> mm-hmm. Better helps when you're your lot where you can just do free like a phone or something like that. But uh yeah, going to psychologists is very different. Going to the word is fucked up. It's like a really fucked up like if you ever go to, not prison, but if you if you ever go to jail, like yeah. kinda like the drunk type nah, but you're staying there a while. Right. I don't know. It was the first time I went to Ward. It was the Hopkins next to. Oh no, it was the Howard General next to Hopkins. I think they put you in the Ward. That's after the flip out. Yeah. Like cops show up, blood from my knuckles to my elbow. I'm naked except for black khakis because I think I thought I was on fire. <laughs> it started stripping some shit. The whole I was terrorizing a fucking neighborhood, man. Yeah, yeah, not good. And that was the strapped up. Oh, that's one. And see, I don't lie anymore. That's it. So, how long did they keep you strapped up for? Before, um, a while. <laughs> Till I got to the hospital, for one, and I was still kind of lunching. Yeah, yeah. They put a catheter in. It might have been because I was kind of aggressive. I kind of fought with the cops a little bit. Not like fought with them, but I was so crazy. Right. Like, I actually put my, they said, put your hands up. I put my hands up, which probably didn't look good because I got blood from my knuckles to my elbow. Right. And I'm only wearing khakis, and it's raining. It's wow. raining like shit the whole fucking time. But then I let them handcuff me, but then, and that's, yeah. I don't know, that shit old. I hate to say it, it's inappropriate, but yeah, that retard strength you a little bit. That's usually more epileptics, the seizures. You don't want to, somebody got a seizure, they happen to have your hand around their throat, you're fucked. Mm. But uh, yeah, that might be the part, but they put a catheter, right? They put the shit up your dick, or for the ladies to, you know. And, uh, but they put air in my, in my shit. You're not supposed to do that. Mm. So not only am I in a fucking psych ward, <laughs> that it was not a plan, by the way. <laughs> it wasn't a vacation. I didn't get a passport or nothing. Right. I was pissing bubbles. Mm. Sounds hilarious. Feels painful as fuck. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was a start. I walked in, and you get a roommate. Most, uh, some oh. of us got roommates. I got a roommate. He tells me. How does that work? There's two beds. Oh. He sit in a room with you. They lock you in a room at night. Some of them didn't. And, and it depends on which crazy place you're in. We haven't gotten like Baltimore or Chef Pratt, any of that sort of shit. This is the first step. So they got like toilets in there? Or? They also got uh, children. Like if you're a minor versus yeah. an adult, yeah. they'll have different words. And Remember I told you the woman, I, the woman that was the most beat I've ever seen a woman in my life. And I watch horror movies for days. Right. The most I've ever seen a woman fucking be. And she was a grown woman. She wasn't really supposed to be there. And so they put her in a child ward so she wouldn't have to be around all the right. adults. Never in my life have I ever seen a woman 
beating that badly. Wow. Beating that. That's what I was telling you before. Remember I was talking about PCP? Yeah. That's the second time. The first time was in elementary school. One of my before aftercare teachers, boyfriend, beat her to death. But I wasn't, well, diagnosed crazy yet. But her, her boyfriend was like, I'm going to send you to Jesus. She had dreads, but she ain't half dreads. Mm. It's just because he kept grabbing her hair up and all the blood mixed with it. Mm. Her eye, where, like, yeah. <laughs> it was done. Yeah. Like that shit probably never opened again. I never, I never. And she was, she wasn't a white girl. She may be late skin or dark, but it, but you could still see just the devastation. You know what I mean? Yeah. All broke the fuck up. Mm. Seems kind of inappropriate talking about it now. Like, it's good that you kept her with the kids so, like, she ain't around other grown men and be terrified or some shit. But you also might kind of be traumatizing some of the crazy kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But nah, the first roommate, I forget what he said. I ain't like it. Because one of the first... I forget what kind of crazy he said he was. How, how, what's the size of them joints? Like, ah, smaller than this. They got, like, a little... Maybe, bit. like, if you cut off... Not... Yeah, they're pretty yeah. small. The beds, the beds were also twins. And they got a toilet in there. Yeah, there, there's a bathroom. That, that's the first thing he did. He went to like the little closet, you know, yeah. they could close that in. Okay. And he's like, see, they have this built, yeah. so that if you try to hang yourself from it, it'll break. Oh, okay. And then you won't be able to hang right, yourself. Right. Like, he went to the the vanity mirror in the yeah. bathroom. Yeah. He's like, see, that's not like glass. Like, you right, can't right, break right. that. And <laughs> It's like, man, what a great guy to leave my first time in there. Right. <laughs> he pretend, then he started talking about he's bisexual and shit. And it's like, now I'm locked in here with this dude. Oh, like, wow. you cool. went out of your way to say it. Like, yeah. That's and cool. in that same ward, I got a seven year old that tried to stab both his parents. That was my second room. How long was you in there for? Uh, I don't remember, man. <laughs> I don't remember. Was it like weeks or months? You know? uh, I think it was less. I want to say it was for the first bout, I want to say it was less than a month. Okay. I want to yeah, say. Okay. I yeah. hope so, man. <laughs> I right. hope I wasn't in there all month. Enough that I quit pissing bubbles. Right. <laughs> I met a good friend in there. That, what the what type of food was they giving me out there? Mm. That is a funny thing. Some of them actually would have tight food. Howard General, I think it was pretty gay. I think the youngest, the biggest thing was they had like the shredded ice. Okay. And you go put the juice in the shredded ice. That was like the main... Otherwise, yeah, pretty that much. That was like the state, right? There. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, pretty much like, it, I mean, pretty much like hospital food. Yeah. I went to one loony bin where they would give you a menu. These all was in Maryland? I could order buffalo wings. All these was in Maryland? Um, yeah, I think they were, I don't, I don't remember. I don't even remember how many I've been to, technically. Right. Uh, Baltimore, I don't remember. The Shepherd Pride, I want to say, like, you know Shady Grove? Is that like Montgomery County? I heard, yeah. yeah. I oh, think there's yeah, Montgomery yeah. County, the Howard General. I guess I have been to Hopkins. And there was some other, it was just like, the Baltimore one was weird. Because mm -hmm. it was like, it wasn't just, it's like, it was like a fucking big ass building. Right. Like, we were floors up, which is weird to have a bunch of crazy fucking people in a, <laughs> in a skyscraper. <laughs> I don't know. Is it weird? It seemed weird to me. The other ones were always like their own thing. But no, that was the first one. That was probably the biggest one. Everybody wanted to tell you. He was, he was what, 15? You said I, I would have been, yeah, like 15, maybe 16? even probably late 15, probably almost 16. Right. Yeah. Because, right. yeah, I think it was September and my birthday, October. So, yeah. so what was the period in between time when you went to the second one, like, when you came back home. Oh, it was good. Like, uh, I don't know how YouTube friendly some of that is. Like, yeah, like, I went out of my way to not do, like, wear the blood from yeah, the knuckles yeah. and the elbow game. A lot, a lot of the cursing, like, some of that. A lot of the cursing period ain't friendly. Well, yeah, yeah, you might be screwed on that yeah. one. See, I said screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Drop the F. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, some of that might. Yeah. Right. I'm not even saying, like, because of standards, but also it's just. It's messed up. Right, right. Nah, <laughs> nah, yeah, nah, right. It's messed up. Nah, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. I might not be doing anybody any favors saying where that where that blood came from. Right, right. But yeah, nah, that was the first one. And that's where they're getting the real diagnosis. Right, right. But I've had stuff before. Dude, even when I was a little kid, that always weirded me out. My mom's dead now, though, so I'll never get that answer. Rest they peace. brought me to this one joint. And the dude, you know the little bars with the marbles little kids play with? Mm -hmm. So, like, I had to be super young. That was like the waiting room. You know how right, we were in the right, lawyer right, today? Right. They had like that way. They yeah. had like little marbles. Little they had me talk to them, and that's like, dude, that's before I was ten. Yeah. 
Right. What was that about? My mom. My mom was always pretty dramatic. She and Karen, uh, R.I.P. But I'll say it like that. She had Irish Catholic Karen. <laughs> Let me talk to my manager. <laughs> and she said it's because you seem always. You seem like you're always sad all the time. I don't remember seeing that man. I had a nice elementary school posse, dude. Right. We were deep as fuck. Right. So you felt like you was a happy kid. You didn't feel like what they was. We we to didn't you. go there. But, well, I mean, no, nah, that one I was so little I didn't even know what was happening. Right. I didn't know what therapy was. Right. Uh, with the fifteen for the diagnosis, I was a little more aware of it, but I didn't know what schizo was. Mm-hmm. But hey, if I could go on in there and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, schizo, no problem. Take this shot. Boom, you're cured." Be like, "Yeah." That'd be life changing, man. My whole life would be different. Right. I'm 36 now. You talk. <laughs> you yeah. talk a long time ago now. Yeah. I used to carry my car. That's another where it gets scary. It's not as common as bipolar, but uh, mm-hmm. self-diagnosed schizo is is dangerous too. People people shouldn't do that. You shouldn't self-diagnose anything. It's bad for your health. Right. But I don't know. It, I guess sometimes it's an attention grab. But I used to keep the paper on me. But I stopped carrying my wallet because of all the court stuff we're doing. Mm-hmm. I don't want them to be able to search me like, oh, look at him. <laughs> He's a lunatic. Mm-hmm. And I don't care how special you are. You think you're a judge. That doesn't all of a sudden make you like a major in some psychology or, you know, psychological disorders or anything like that. Yeah. They'll be the same as anybody else. So, like, you could change at any second. Right. Like, nah, that's not how that works. But no, nah, yeah, the, to go back, see, like I said, you got to watch me staying on topic. The, right. the Howard generally started, and, and that's how they often go through it, right. is they'll go like, oh, some depression stuff. But then also, you just lost your mind, oh, blood all over your arm, uh, you know what I mean? Right. Something next to happen here. Then they go like, manic, when in case anyone alive doesn't notice how fast or how much I talk. That's kind of like what that goes. Yeah. I kind of told, I literally told them myself. Right, right. <laughs> Then it went to like, yeah, so you get like depression, manic depression, all that. Then you get to like the schizo, which is where you're hearing voices. I mean, it, I don't think you have to hear voices yeah. for it to be, because you can hallucinate through any of your senses. Mm-hmm. An auditory hallucination, which is the most famous, right? Hearing voices. That's all that Hollywood shit. Uh, auditory is the most famous. Uh, and what, I, what else I would say is probably one of the more terrifying is the tactile. What tactile means is touch. Right. But you can feel like you're getting hurt when you're not. Like you'll feel like somebody's mm. cutting you. Oh, wow. That fucking sucks, right? Yeah. I'm saying fuck to my buddy. Yeah, that, that was pretty bad. I hate that. I don't get that as much, but I'll get shit like somebody's touching my neck. Yeah. That's been, I talked to a doctor about it. Somebody touching my neck. Right. Or it's like they're giving me a hickey or something. Which, I mean, shit, I kind of like that a lot of the time. But when there's nobody there, right. <laughs> it kind of makes it. And then there's, like, gas story, which basically goes into taste and smell. And that one's that one's 50-50. Because sometimes I just be smelling good <laughs> good smells out of nowhere. Right. It'll just yeah. smell like some amazing... I mean, you don't get to eat the food. But it'll smell like some amazing food. Right. Uh, you can do that, but, you know, smell and taste going the same. Mm-hmm. And I've had times where I know they're my, they're my chicken wings. They're my right. favorite chicken wings. I know they're good. Right. And I eat them, and it's just horrible. Not good at like all. Like, it messes with me. Right. But it is good. Right. But you tripping through your... You Literally, right. you're tripping through your tongue. Wow. That's a that's a gastro hallucination. That's and then the visual is where you see stuff. Yeah. That's probably right underneath, like, the Hollywood. It's, you always get the... The voices are the biggest yeah. one. But then you get the where you see stuff that isn't there. Right. And that sucks, too. That would that was that was, that's always been scary. Yeah. I don't I don't feel that's as bad. I used to see people and they would like like and it would mix. Yeah. Like I had a guy and he would scratch me. Yeah. And but it would feel like he was actually doing it too. Yeah. And I'm tripping all that. Yeah, he would mess me up. But that was later on. See, like I feel like it kind of simmered down. Like when I first heard the voices, yeah. It would just be blah, 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 blah. like it didn't really say anything. Then it would say it wouldn't say anything bad. It would be like just spin around, and I do it. Right. Like they'll shut up if I spin around, but it ain't gonna cause no harm. But then they started with the messed up stuff. Yeah. And then you gotta argue with them, and now they don't shut up. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's probably that's probably the worst. I'd say actually, yeah, the auditory are probably the worst. 
Because they say horrible fucking things. They use your brain. It's you, it, I shouldn't say they. <laughs> it makes me sound more crazy, right? <laughs> but it's you. It's your brain. But your brain, you know you. It's you. It, you're your own worst enemy. Right. So it attacks you very specifically. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that shit. That, that, that's, that sucks. That, that I don't think will ever go away. I don't think that will ever go away. The visuals aren't as bad. I'll, just, I'll see animals a lot. Yeah. Animals that aren't there. But that's not that bad. Unless it's the dogs. Because if a giant dog come around, like you're going to do something. Yeah. You're going to react yeah. a little yeah. bit. Like a mouse or a bird or a bug. You'd be yeah. uh, like, yeah, yeah. it's not that big. But yeah. yeah, I used to have the dogs a lot. That was a big one. I saw them in uh, Howard General. The first time they gave me Seroquel, bro. It was like a 70s like metal music. Wow. I was so done. Wow. And that wasn't even 500. They were just getting me going. I think that was maybe like 100, mm. which is maybe four times for like the sleep dose of 25 milligrams. Yeah. I was on this couch because they kind of had like an open room mm -hmm. and just bow, 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 by like Sammy Hagar mm -hmm. just trim balls. And they had this glass door like to look. You weren't allowed to go out there. You ain't allowed to leave. <laughs> Don't yeah. get it twisted. But uh, they had a glass door, and all of a sudden, all these dogs come up. You know what I mean? Right. There's no way there were like a dozen. But, you know what I mean, dog? That's not real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like we're just every once in a while, we have a little herd of dogs. They like, right. run up to them, like, yeah, nah, that wasn't a thing. Wow. And that was when I was on the circle. They claim it antipsychotic. But unfortunately, I think the antipsychotic part is you see how fast I talk. So yeah. you dope me up. Yeah. It's a tranquilizer. I mean, to to some degree, that might work. You know what I mean? I don't get you don't get overexcited or something. But nah, people would think I was on heroin, bro. <laughs> I'd be nodding in and out of convers. I mean, like five minutes. It'd just be out, back, right, right. five minutes back. <laughs> right, right. Oh man! And God forbid you try to drink on that. Mm -hmm. Much less all the construction, all the auto jobs. If I did that, I'd keep trying not to cuss for you. I don't know why you're why you're censoring me, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you another time, you know, but it's, it's impossible. Yeah. You'd have to pay me. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for breakfast, for real. Yeah. But now, so when you was in the uh, spot, I'm gonna go back to when you was in the uh, site for right. The, the first one is a good one. Okay. Because that's gotten yeah. story. All right. Nah, so. nah. What I'm saying is, when when you was in there, right? Yeah. Far as. What did they have? Did they have you do anything in there to like? Um, yeah, you're you? you're in the room. They make you go to like kind yeah, of no outside type thing or nothing. Oh, you're there? not allowed out. You you stay in the ward okay. until they dismiss you. Right. And they lock your rooms at night, stuff like that. Everybody talking? wanted to screw because I mean, especially back then. Like I'm 15, but you talking? We in the adolescent ward, so it's all teenagers, right. and they're all they're all either crazy or want to be crazy. Right. <laughs> and at very least, they all did something crazy, so they all want to bang each other. So that was a big thing, but that one, they'd lock us in our room a little bit. Okay. A couple of them, it'd be so like, you if you out. wanted to bang each other, you could do it. So you, they let you uh, step out during the daytime? like out the Well, you got a room, and there's a door, and you probably have a roommate. Like, I had the weird guy right. talking about all the suicide stuff. Then I had, like, the nine-year-old that tried to stab I think he actually did stab his parents mm -hmm. but like he didn't finish them off enough right. I don't know right. but yeah that didn't seem appropriate That's either crazy. I had a girl make me a valentine <laughs> in there she was really done like they were giving her pills she would just drool mm -hmm. all the time and she was like cognitive like she went a zombie but she was still drooling all the time because they gave her the crazy or whatever they gave her there were a lot of characters. That, like I said, the woman that got beat the most. The redhead guy, because he was really big. He was probably about your size, but he probably, yeah, it was like 17, something. Yeah. Uh, but he was a redhead dude, and you can look that up. Like I said, we talked about redheads earlier today, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, you can look it up. And they're, they're for, for whatever crazy psycho ginger, whatever it is, that they're more tolerant. And if you acted up, like the girl I said was drooling, she did it all the time. They stayed whooping her ass. And right. she was little, but they stayed whooping her ass. Right. They stayed whooping her ass. And so if you act up, and I don't mean any racial thing, but two gorillas. I ain't specifying. Two gorillas, silver black gorillas, would come tackle your ass, drag you back into a room. You right. know what I mean? 
Several of them are white, so you know what I mean. But I'm talking gigantic people. No, I get you. And then you'd have like a little like 120 pound nurse come in and stick you with a needle. If this yeah. like if you wild them out, right? You know what I mean. Right. Which in the psych ward, I don't know, give or take. <laughs> but then they pin you in a the room, they shoot you with the girl who always drooled. They and see, she would always keep fighting. Right. They said if you stop fighting, we'll give it to you in the arm. If you don't stop fighting, it's going to your butt. Mm. And they shoot it in your butt cheek. Oh, man. I never got it. Right. I never got no butt cheek action. It was like, word. But uh, the ginger dude, who's a giant dude, like I said, he's a big kid. Mm -hmm. But the gingers are more immune to, I guess, opioids. I, I don't know what, what exactly. Gingers are freaks, right? But they shot him with it, and there's two agents to it. It's essentially to knock you out, but then also to paralyze you. Right. The part that was supposed to knock him out didn't work. So he was just paralyzed. Right. So he's sitting there like this in the fetal position after the gorillas tackle him, everything they put a shot on him. Ah, ah, trying to scream, but he can't fucking he can't move. Oh, it's man. supposed to knock you out though. But it, the knockout part didn't work on him, I guess. Look it up, man. Look it up. In surgery when they do what is it, anesthesia, they have to take into consideration whether or not the person is a fucking redhead. I promise you this. It's a real thing. Then that psych ward, though, I don't think they were trained that far as the schematics of redheads. Oh, man. <laughs> so this giant dude just in there trying to scream. And it was a minute, too, because that stuff kept you stuck for, you know what I mean, a significant amount of time. Yeah. So he was sitting, and you've heard those stories yeah. about the people that wake up during their surgery, oh, and they're still paralyzed, right, right, right. but they're conscious. Right. And they can't scream or nothing. Uh -huh. That's the same thing. Yeah. That's the same thing was happening. At yeah. least nobody was cutting them up. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. That was probably it. And, uh, yeah, met Joan. Yeah, met Joan. Well, I knew her kind of from school, but it was all, it was funny. Yeah. It was like, do I know you? He's like, oh, yeah, we go to the same high school. Oh, yeah, I met her. <laughs> met her. Well, I mean, we had met before, technically. Yeah. But, like, yeah, that was a big bonding thing. That's crazy. Like, oh, hey, right. didn't I have, like, a math class with you? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this your first time yeah. in the loony bit? Yeah, right. And it was hers, too. <laughs> uh, Darcy girl, that's a whole nother, some hoe stuff. Ended up with Aaron, probably dead by now. I didn't keep up. Mm. But I think that's most, I think that's most of. Yeah, I think that's most of that one. Mm -hmm. It wasn't all under 17, though, because they did have a smoking session. But if you weren't uh, 18, they wouldn't let you. That was a weird one, man. The first one was definitely one of the weirder ones. All right. Baltimore was probably the most violent, I'd say. Hey, how old was you when you went to that one? I don't even know. Or around the age. I you don't know. You was a little older. Oh. I'm trying to remember the order of which yeah. I went. I'm sure there's some medical record that I couldn't get to like get a proper time. I, you remember still the, young. Still young. Remember the last one you went to? I, that that actually has has eluded me. Like I said, I talked to that doctor. I'm like, yeah, which is the fucking last one? Right. Uh -huh. I I want to say I've never gone to PG County. Mm. A lot of this is younger, man. Eventually, yeah. you learn that like you you didn't live in this area. You don't live in PG County. Well, I was well when it originally all that started. I'm PG, but I'm College Park. Yeah, see, so I'm a little like, more north yeah, PG. Yeah. PG County is like one of the biggest counties yeah, out here, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was right by University Park. Oh, okay. That's yeah. where I started. Then you hit like Howard right. and right. I think it was still, maybe it was Ellicott City, uh, but no, nah, Howard County. Yeah, is you was up that way. It was no point in even them sending you down this way, back down here. I don't know, man. Well, there's nothing happening. <laughs> You never escape PG. That's what I was. Oh, you say. still end up going to one in PG? Um. Oh, I definitely went to something in PG, but it definitely wasn't the last one. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I lost a lot of them. Yeah. Up there, Shepherd Pratt was a big one, but that was less. I don't know. It was definitely for like mental issues, but I wouldn't consider it like a ward. Well, Although they, I guess they did kind of keep you. What well, area that was in? I want to say that Shepard Pratt was Montgomery. Oh, okay. But I don't think I was in Montgomery when... The, no, it couldn't have been. See, my bad. Yeah. yeah it's, nah, you good, bro. It's yeah. hard to remember. That's what I'm it's not to exactly like I go out of my yeah. way to remember a lot. Yeah, of nah, shit, I got yeah. it. I got uh, it. Yeah, Shepard Pratt was weird. Oh, 
Right. Yeah, that one was weird. But that one wasn't very violent. So, that was a lot of people trying to bang each other. I actually hooked with a girl uh, from from that one, I think. Right. I'm not in there, but I met her yeah. uh, afterwards. So, yeah, we so all of them was pretty different. But yeah, definitely. Yeah. The Howard General, that was very, that was probably really the one that's like, I mean, most people, if you imagine a word, you imagine some fucking horror movie or something you don't know what fucking yeah, looks like. Right. You know what I mean? There are a lot of registered nurses nowadays. You'd think they'd know, but uh, yeah, but it looked more like a crazy people place a little bit, I guess. Right. Not that there was like shit all over the walls or anything, but it was very like... Right. Sorry. Institutional, Look, yeah, stable, <laughs> yeah, like you yeah, you ain't moving no walls around. Yeah, like it was anything. it was clear you're you're in here for a specific reason. Right, you're right, not right. supposed to leave. All yeah, that sort of stuff. Yeah. That's probably a weird one. So it's, it was probably more people. strict than the other one. Probably. Um, yeah, Howard was, eh, it was, but I mean, also that's the youngest too. So they're not, you know. Yeah. I will say that yeah, I never I, I I got away with that. I never had no psycho word uh, fist fights, which you know I mean now. Yeah, it, but I was a different person then. Uh, I turned crazy. Yeah. I used to be the silent treatment all the time. Yeah. I never shut the fuck up. But uh, yeah, nah, that was yeah. I never I never had anybody do it. Baltimore though was like that. <laughs> yeah. there, there were it was crazy people, but they were also they were also ghetto as fuck. Right. That's a winning combination, like, yeah. There are a couple, of, I never had a problem, and I never started a problem, but there are a couple of people who got the fuck beat out of them. And that's including, you still got, like, I'm gonna keep calling them gorillas. You just, basically, I mean a giant man. Yeah. I mean, not playing around, like, six for, like, he could pick two people up yeah. in each hand. Type yeah. of. It was always that dude. It was a, sometimes, I'm not trying to burn them. Sometimes they were the coolest people in there. Right. You know what I mean? They talk to you like you're an adult. Yeah. No, they Sometimes you get ones that will bet on when you start fighting which one of you is going to yeah. win, though. You definitely get assholes, right. too. They're definitely sadists in there, too. You know what I mean? But I remember the one came in, and that's Baltimore, so we're like three stories. That was that was weird. Yeah. Why are we like three stories up right. for the metal board? <laughs> that was the only time anybody ever visited me. That was a fucked up one, too. Yeah. I never had anybody visit me. Wow. Even back then, with the silent room, I still had a bunch of friends. Nobody ever came. Mm. Nobody. I the only visit I ever had was Baltimore. You seen you know, the two grandparents brought me a, a cheap ass like brownie mm. from the cafeteria. That's the only time anybody ever visited me in the hospital. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I won't go into details, but I guess technically, uh, my uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I should disclose, disclose all that, but. With the blood situation, the first one I'm on the stretch and stuff, well, the victim of the blood showed up. Right. So I guess that kind of counts as a visit, yeah, right. but it wasn't a good, <laughs> obviously it wasn't a good visit. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think the first one was probably worse. I think I went the most crazy at the, uh, at the time. And I did the most damage, and that's that's the one where I really got strapped down. Most of them, they'll just they basically arrest you. Right. They basically arrest you, or so, they might take you on the ambulance, but they still might handcuff you. But the one with the strap, where I'm strapped yeah. down, that was like, yeah, you're a danger to yourself and others for sure. Right. That was yeah, that was horrible. So, total total time and all of them, you think? Oh God, yeah. I couldn't. Because some, 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 some one of some, one of them was a while. So, so you think about a half a year total out of all of them? About, about five months? Uh, maybe, five? probably more than that. Probably more than that. Yeah, okay. Close, more closer to a year out of total time. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Some yeah. of them joints really old you, yeah. man. Yeah, no, I, just, feel, I feel I'm I did. I'm just saying that out of all of them. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I feel I did pretty well because I feel at least a couple of them. I wasn't there more than like a month or so. Right. Some of that can be decided too, like it depends on things. Mm -hmm. Like, are you going to do the medicine? Is the medicine going to say something? How the fuck hard did you flip out? Right. How did you act while you was in there? So all that matters with them letting you out. <clears throat> uh, I mean, there are multiple ways. Like I've known of people that like sometimes they won't let you out. That's what I'm saying. Depending right? on different scenarios, yeah, yeah. but if something like and it might not even be crazy ward stuff, it might be a hospital. They won't let people out. My my family for my one uncle they cut they had to cut the insurance mm. to get him, them to let my uncle go. Right. 
Right. Like, they wouldn't give him their son back. Right. I shit you not. They would not give him their son back. Right. And they cut the insurance. Oh, just like somebody we know today, right? All it's about is the money, right? right. Just like the lawyer. Once the money quit flowing, right. oh, right. yeah, take them home. Right. Ain't that dirty? Yeah. Ain't that a dirty-ass story? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. That was kind of my uncle's version of the Lenny Ben. Right. In a way. But he ain't, he ain't a schizo. What's up, man? Man, we'll shut it down, though. But yeah, I definitely appreciate you, man, your time. And oh, you what, know, you know anytime saying, you man. want, man. You know me long enough, man. You yeah, already know. You, you know still alive. You still scared to get in a trolley car, though. <laughs> yeah, we're going we gonna to tune y'all into the Murder Woods, too, man. We'll link them up. We should have gone through there, shouldn't we? Well, yeah, you're right. I don't right, know man. if it was worth buying a hotel.